I know this isn't the usual way I start these series, but I need to beat this game before I get started my gameplay. And it just so happens, one of my save files was at one of the final bosses. Stop! It seems like she's close. Milm is here. It's true. The picture book is reacting too. Prepare yourselves. I'd be fine, but you guys will be killed if you get caught. Yeah, we know. I'm coming, Milm. Of the maiden Rangda's three eyes, we have Karma and Samsara. Mm -hmm. It took quite a long time, but it was worth the results. All that is left now is Nirvana. I sense it here. Yes, my maiden's senses are tingling. Avidya. The land of the beginning of the end. The Earth's most powerful mana stems from here. There is no more perfect place to anchor Nirvana. Milm fell into a mana gland in Durga Badlands and came to host Samsara. This place may offer something even greater. Let us test. This time, we have Samsara. We may bear witness to something we have never seen before. I pray that is the case, to create our ideal world. Yes. When the time comes, we shall turn Milm into a Venefica. Jackass. Samsara's host turning feral. I can't even imagine it. After we witness this historic event, it will be your job to record it. <laughs> I know. I will await your return in the Adursta Caves. Let us go. Hold it right there! <laughs> That's enough, Lord Theodore! Give Milm back to me! We're here, Milm, honey! <sighs> Open your mouth, Milm! Uh, uh... All right. <sighs> There's no place like home. The binding is loosening. Good. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready. Ready? What are we supposed to be ready for? Even if my magic has weakened, what are you planning to do with just one finger? You idiot! A finger is plenty! Turning herself into a Benefica? <sighs> yeah, how you like that, bitches? She increased her power by pulling out her third eye just far enough to avoid becoming a Venefica. Uh, uh, I was 
going to rip you to shreds. But it appears my subconscious went easy on you. It won't happen again! You underestimate the power of a holy maiden! <laughs> Samsara's Vinifica and the kin of a holy maiden. Two faces of the same terrifying beast. I won't let you get away! What? Hmm. You deserve it. <laughs> After all that, he falls down a hole? You! Chelka! Not even Chelka stood a chance? I was patient with you until now. But this time you've gone too far. I will never forgive you. Damn it. Hey, obnoxious cow. Stupid turkey. <laughs> Too bad, dear. They can't hear you anymore. No! You obnoxious cow! Weren't you going to save Milm? How are you gonna do that if you're dead, huh? Are you going to leave Milm behind? Don't worry, she won't be alone. You will be joining her very soon. <sighs> Hundred Knight, where are you? Hurry up and come out! You can't let the obnoxious cow die! That little doll fell into the earth. You have no hope left. Stop struggling. Really? I fell in a hole too? Screw you! I will have my freedom! I will have unlimited freedom! I won't let anyone die. I won't let anyone kill me! I won't let you take one more thing from me! She's becoming a Venefica again? What is this? The beginning of the end. But a little early. Mm, rain. I'm a weird color, though. What? <laughs> my, my, my body! Ah! What happened? He disappeared! Yep, yes he did. Ah! What is going on here? The witch's curse? Or the end? Yes and yes. This is where it ends. All that's left is destruction and rebirth.
Rebirth? Technically, she's not wrong. <sighs> Obnoxious cow! You have impressive vitality. I suppose you have earned your Holy Valkyrie title. Your tenacity is remarkable. I should have been able to crush you with a single blow. But here you are, holding on, fighting. For 333 years, I waited for this moment. And you have ruined it! I hate you! All for nothing! Now I have to do it all again! Do not be so quick to lose hope, my child. Lord Theodore's voice... Where? The mana? No. Above us! Whoa. That's probably Theodore! Bad. Your forehead! Why? I thought only women. Your eye. It's the same as mine. Hmm. So you can sense it. Yes. This is Samsara. By touching the Manigland Abyss, Samsara was implanted in my head. <laughs> this is truly incredible. Uh -huh. I can see the unseen. I can understand what man was never meant to understand. All truths exist to me in my eyes. There you go with that prophet crap again. So, Theodore knows the truth? Theodore! Do you know where Nirvana is? I do. The moment I became host to Samsara, all the memories that Karma possessed became mine. Nirvana is one. Nirvana is all. All can see it, and yet none can see it. I've got no patience for this. Where is Nirvana? Raise your eyes and behold! What? Raise my eyes. Moon and Mugen, wake up! Squawk! She's alive! My Manania would never be killed so easily. Let's go, Hoon and Mugen! Where? To the sky. Wait a bit, I, I haven't finished working on my flying magic, and... Don't worry. I stole some after we met that holy slut. Now, spread your wings! Squawk! I... I... I think I can fly! I can fly! I can fly, I can fly, I can fly! Everyone, get on! What? Me too? Whoa! Hey now! You're heavy! Whatever! Just fly! Go, Hoonan Mugen! Oh boy! <sighs> I knew it! Is that... an eye? <laughs> no wonder no one could find it. The world itself is Nirvana. The eyelid? Is it just me, or does it look like it's opening? Yeah, sort of. I get it. When the eye opens all the way, 
The world will end. Uh, guys, it's great and all that we discovered the secret of the universe and grown closer as friends and all, but I am at my limit here! Uh-oh. I guess that magic got used up faster than I expected. Huh? We're falling! Come on, Hunan Mugen! Uh, oh, boy. No, I can't. No, I can't! We're gonna fall! Thank God you're so fat. Rude. Sissy. Milm? You. Hundred Knight, are you okay? Lord Theodore! Uh oh. So you have seen it yourselves the truth of this world. Yes. I can't believe we're living right on top of this horrible thing. <laughs> you humans don't understand anything. It's not horrible. There is nothing more beautiful. Lord Theodore, what are you planning to do with all three eyes? I hear a voice crying out. A voice that curses this world. Hates us all, and grieves over the future. It is a nightmarish scream that has not ceased since the first human was born into this world. But this black scream will soon end. Very soon now, true silence will fall upon all creation. It is time for salvation. Everything in its right place. So destroying everything is salvation for you? That's the ideal world that you hoped for? You misunderstand. The ideal world is the one I will create after the Rapture. A world you'll create? This world will die, only to be reborn. The cycle will continue forever. Ramda discovered salvation in this cycle. Kavala's divine work. But my creation will be different. With the power of the three eyes, I shall break the cycle. My creation shall be eternal. A beautiful, silent world. <laughs> What do you mean? Trapped within the karmic cycle, the gears of the great machine, humans have no choice but to fight and squabble. In the machine, sadness and suffering are inevitabilities. But why? What is the cause of it all? It is because we commune. It is our language. Which disease is merely a symptom of the illness of communication, which racks the world with its great evil? Language is a contagion, a plague that carries suffering and cruelty and evil from man to man. To erase the taint of discord, we will pluck the nidus of evil from its roots, and the world will know true silence. You're going to take language from people? But how will I tell Milm? Never fear, my child. In a world without language, you will not even have such thoughts. Fear and uncertainties will vanish. All will be equal. No more presuppositions or epithets. All will live as they are and die as they were meant to. Let us begin the salvation. Huh? What are 
you doing? The edit? <laughs> I can feel it. Overflowing. Rungda's magic power. All that is left now is Nirvana. Why Francesca, return to the Adursta Caves. You wouldn't want to be caught in the rapture and lose your chance to see the reborn world, would you? Thank you, Theodore. You, you're coming with me. <laughs> Get your hands off of her! Good girl. Now, let's go. No. Give Milm back to me! You still have the strength to stand. You continue to surprise me. But this ends now. you will never hear your sister's voice. Never again. Amelie, I feel that I owe you thanks. Your struggle, and everyone's struggle, is what led me here today. Now, Amelie, it is time for sleep. The eternal silence is upon us. you. The Metagland Abyss. The pupil of Nirvana. Memory. Destruction. Creation. I will manifest these powers in my own hands. Now, it is time for salvation. The birth of a world of silence! It's kinda pretty. Well, that's one of the endings. And now I, I can start new game. As you can guess. This is one of the bad endings. Again, sorry, it's different to how I usually start these series. But for this game, I already had a pre-built character and I wanted to bring it with me. I will also do another episode making the tutorial again. Starting the tutorial again just to show you what it looks like, but I'm keeping my main character for the main.
It will be continued within the next five minutes. Yes. Oh, yes. Lighten. The Witch and the Hundred Knight, too. My child, my child, thou art an effigy. From my memories, my beloved, thou shalt never be swallowed. Cut it now, cut it in the future. You shall never be a gem. My child, I shall keep you. You shall never be a gem. Fear, fear the eagle of death. Do not rise up to see the view. Do not peer in to see the deep. Do not suspect the truth. Something, but the adults told me not to. I'm so scared. But I can't be scared now. Mill needs me. Did you find her? Did you find my sister? Did you find Milm? We didn't. I took the posse all the way to the other side of the forest, but we didn't find so much as her shoe. Perhaps she was spirited away. In that case, Milne may be... No, you're lying! The gods wouldn't take Milne away. Never! Gods only take bad girls like me, right? Amelie, why don't you go and rest? You haven't slept since yesterday. I can't. When I close my eyes, I see Milne crying. She's crying all alone somewhere. She needs me. Mama, I found Milm. I told you not to make jokes like that. Milm! Sissy? Milm, you're covered in mud. S sissy it hurts. I was so scared. If something happened to you... Oh, Milm, I'm so happy. Sorry, I didn't want to make Sissy cry. Oh, your hands, they're so warm. Where in the world did you run off to, Milm? I wanted to get Sissy a mana flower for her birthday. 
A mana flower? You, you didn't go to the Durga Badlands, did you? Durga? You mean the Forbidden Lands? Milm, you know you're not supposed to go there. Now, now, be nice. She's made it back fine. Huh? Milm, you have a cut. Did you hit your head? Huh? <laughs> What's wrong, Mayor? Swallow your dentures again? Th that's not a cut. It's an eye. It's a witch's eye. Milm, she, she, she's infected with the witch disease. <laughs> no. Milm has the witch disease? What? How? Witch disease? Stupid girl. How many times have I told you? A child shouldn't talk about that. But... But... S sissy Am I... sick? Amelie! Get away from her this instant! It's unfortunate, but Milm is beyond saving now. I, I brought a silver arrow. I'm sorry, Milm. It'll just be one shot. Just a little pain, then it'll all be over, I promise. No! Get out of the way, Amelie! If that eye on her forehead opens, it'll be the end of us all! Did you forget what happened three years ago? This town was attacked by a witch! She killed your parents! It's true! You should hate witches more than anyone! That's right. And if we don't handle this now, it might be spread to others. We have to kill her! Try to understand! You can't! You can't! I'm the only one she has! And she's the only one I have! Then what do you want us to do? We'll leave town forever. You'll never hear from us again. Let's go, Milm. Let them go. They're just kids. They won't last a week. They'll be eaten by the demons in the forest. And that eh, might be a mercy. You're a jerk, bud. Sissy... I'm scared. I know, Milm. But look, I'm scared too. My legs are shaking, see? But don't worry. I'll protect you, Milm. I know I can cure your disease. She's gonna make it. She has to. I won't let the witch disease win. Part 1, Chapter 1, The Witch and the Witch Disease Now proceed with the lesion removal surgery for patient exhibiting signs of Hexen syndrome, or witch disease. Patient's name is Milne, female, age 9. Her witch code is 666, Rosa Market. Anesthetic is in effect. Pulse and blood pressure are stable. Magic parasite administration procedure is complete. Anything on her magic power meter? No activity. Good. Let's pray that doll she brought with her is a good luck charm. Let's begin. I will now make an incision with the magic-resistant scalpel. Here, sir.
Forehead incision complete. I will now remove the eye. Magic resistant forceps, please. What's happening? Pulse is dropping. Blood pressure dropping. Impossible. I barely touched her. Dropping further. Cardiac arrest. Begin resuscitation. Administer epinephrine. Patient is unresponsive. No pulse. The surgery has failed. I suppose there's still much that even we, the Vice Ritter, don't know about Hexen Syndrome. This was not what any of us wanted. But let us not have this girl die in vain and use this experience to help our next patient. Matthew, I wish I didn't have to ask you to do this, but please tell Amelie what happened here. She hasn't returned from her mission, so she is probably still at camp near Eka Village. Understood. Shocks, I'll leave sanitation to you. Seal the body in a magic-resistant cadaver pouch. Purify the surgical tools in holy water. I'll write up the operative report. Yes, sir. It seems this Hundred Night doll wasn't much of a good luck charm. I'm sorry we couldn't save you, Milne. But at least, you can sleep with your favorite doll, right? I promise that we'll find a cure for Hexen Syndrome. So, rest in peace. Okay. Hmm? Must have been my imagination. I guess I got a little too attached. <laughs> She's not dead? Her magic power meter is off the charts. It can't be. Ah! She, she awakened. Alarm, the emergency alarm. barely have any magic left. Hey! I'm talking to you, googly eyes! The, the Hundred Night Doll moved? I see. So you're Hundred Night. No. Well, think of a name. Actually, you know what? I created you, so I'll give you your name, too. You're Hundred Knight. Alright, Hundred Knight. Break my seal. Yeah. Are you kidding me? You don't get to say no, you little shit. If you don't want to get your soul ripped out of the stuffing you call a body, save me. No, 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 don't! Awakened witches are dangerous. Please, don't free her. Quit your yapping, Hundred Knight. Shut this guy up. No. 
What? You're not scared, are you? No, I just want to see what happens if I keep saying no. I gave you some of my power. There's mm -hmm. no way you can lose to humans. Hurry up and take them out! <laughs> this is great! Keep it up, Hundred Knight! Now free me! These bastards! Tying me up like this! I'll make them pay! But I'm too tired right now. I used most of my magic bringing you to life. Look you. And there's something squirming in my stomach sucking up the rest. I think they said something about a magic parasite. Gotta get that thing out of me first. Like That's one way. Enough! Stop that! You stupid doll! Don't stick your filthy hand in there! Jeez, useless! Go wake up that guy on the ground over there. No. If you don't want to get your soul ripped out of the stuffing you call a body, save me. Yeah. Uh. Mm. Ah! R Rosa! You broke your seal? Huh? Rosa? Is that my name? It's your identification code. We give patients with the witch disease code names. I don't like it. I'll pick my own name. All right. How about this? My name is Chelka. From now on, no one will dare call me anything else. Got that, Hundred Knight? You know what my answer's gonna be. <laughs> I guess you can't talk. Fine by me. Now that I've picked out a name, let's move on. Hey, you. Tell me how to remove a magic parasite. W well uh... What? Speak up. I can't hear you. Hundred Knight, slice his mouth open. Maybe that'll make it easier for him to talk. Whoa, 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 wait, wait! An anthomentic! That'll do it! If you drink a drug called abomectin, you can force it out. Oh, hey! There's your big boy voice. I knew you could do it. So, where is this drug? I... I can't. Oh, I'm sorry. Something stuck in your throat. Hundred Knight, stick your claw in there and pull it out for him. No! Okay, I'll tell you. The Quartermaster's room. All of the medicine should be in there. Quartermaster? Is he the same guy who cut my eyelid? Yes, that's him. That's all you wanted, right? So, let me go! Oh, I forgot to ask where the room was. Oh well. We just gotta search every room until we find it. Let's go, Hundred Knight. He said something about the Quartermaster's office. Let's go find it, Hundred Knight.
Uh-huh. Basic tutorial stuff. Something over there. I won't let anyone get in my way. Hundred Knight, defeat that enemy. Okie dokie. Lugger Capri. Good. There's a reason you I'm earned a reward. Attack. Equip this and unleash hell. now so if you fight a bunch you get even better <laughs> interesting uh-huh It doesn't feel worth it. Get <sighs> having to do that. Look, there's something over there. Attack it and destroy it. Yes. Will do. Side hundred night. Good job. We dumb and the grab pills, crunchy garlic, and cookies. Yeah. 
muddy shroud. I have a muddy shrine. Oh, I have to get out first. Your third eye power? Oh, you? you aren't? Seriously? Like pearls before swine. Focus all your energy to your forehead. Try it, Hundred Knight. Will do. Right. Pillar. I can sense rich mana here, but Hundred Knight, give it a whack. Something interesting might happen. I'm gonna leave this here. Next time I'll finish the tutorial and figure out how to do a new game plus.